Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCDB Desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a uh, CMS, a very important CMS in CCDB industry, which is called VoiceNet Mobile for Windows. So in this video, we firstly let you know that what is VoiceNet Mobile for Windows application is and what are the is characteristics and feature and after that we move to our practical parts means how you download the file or how you get the file and how you install them and finally to configure them to make the camera like so keep watching till end so let us start what is wisenet mobile for pc application is this application is designed and manufactured by hanwha securities it is a Korean company that was established in 1990. It has a track record for more than a 32 years. The company produces the latest and most durable kind of CCTV cameras. This application is an intelligent app. It gives us security and freedom. You can operate it from any remote locations. So basically CMS is a, is a software which is run on a PC and are able to view a remote cameras or multiple cameras locations and if you're talking about the feature and function or its characteristics then the application offers live view and it's run seamlessly it means it auto adjust the frame rate and the bandwidth of the camera it means that when the bandwidth is low then it reduces the frame rate accordingly there is no delay in delay in its resilient reception. It gives continuous streaming. There is no breakup in the live streaming if, if you get the proper bandwidth. It has a high resolution. The image quality given by the application is sharp and bright. The application should maintain two-way audio if you have, if your camera is capable of two-way audio. It it control you can control the PTZ option like all other apps means you are able to pan it and zoom. This application helps you in attending the device from any far locations. So you can you can also check the record. You can you can also able to record in your PC also all for its feature. Now move to your practical parts. The first thing you should do you should open any browser and after that search for Wisenet mobile for windows and press enter when you do this you find in the top of the list a website mccgdbdesk.com you should open this website and just scroll a little and after that close you find a download button in my case i am using a windows and a 64 bit so generally i go for this Python mobile for PC window. Just click on this. When you click on this, it will redirect to our next page. And after that, after waiting a 10 second, to so download is enabled. Just click on this. Now the download is start started. Let the download week is to be finished. After that, we will tell you that how you can how you install them and how you configure them so that your camera is live. So keep download to be finished. And now it is downloaded. Just click on this arrow and after that click on show in folder. When you click in show in folder, here is your downloaded file and after that extract this file. When you click extract, you get the folder with the same file name. Just open the folder and after that here you find the application file or installer file or a exe file whatever you want to see. Just right click on the application file and click as run as administrator. Now click yes. Uh, 
after that click on next and you should accept that license agreement so you should take here and after that click next and again click next and here you should wait for a few minutes and once it is completed you get the successful notification now it is completed here you should get the pop up that completing the business device manager setup wizard here you find that it is already checked so you should leave checked because when you click on finish it will auto automatically open the software just click finish now software is open let's close this and again open that software from the desktop click yes test project so here you should right test project you click apply and here it asks for a password so please use password alphanumeric now click ok and after that you should click on the add device here you find the three option means you if you have a n number of device then you should upload the csv otherwise if you want to using qr code or then you should click here and manually add a remote location and vr device to click here so i should select manually add device so here you find a lot of model here you find the recorder, decoder, DVR. So in my case, I have a vice, vice net DVR. So just click on this. Okay. So here I should enter my I device ID. Okay. In the start and both you should click same. And here it asks for ID and password. It means you should enter the ID, username, and the password of the device. Means that the device you are adding. In my case, I use DVR, so I should enter the username and password of the DVR. Now, click register. Click on all devices and here your camera is live. 